Cafe photography, whether it's food, coffee, or people, is really popular on Instagram. It's cozy, dramatic, and aesthetic. This is Mason from Filtergrade, and in this video we're going to take a look at how to take a cafe photo and edit it in Lightroom Mobile. Before editing your photo, we need to make sure that the original is good. Cafe photography looks best with lots of gentle, natural light. Shooting in the morning or late afternoon will result in the most ideal lighting. If you're taking a still life photo of coffee or food, arrange props around the subject like you normally would in a still life. In this video we're going to be using some stock photos that fit the bill. The most popular edits of cafe photos feature warmth in the subjects and cool blue shadows to contrast against. You also find some dude highlights and dark mysterious shadows with a lot of contrast, and then some added detail on anything like coffee art. So here we have our first image which is a paper cup of coffee with some art in the milk. Uh, sitting on a table. So it's pretty warm, well lit, all that stuff. We're gonna make it a little moodier. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our lighting settings and we're going to drop our highlights a little bit since we do have quite a few in the in the cup. We could even go all the way down and for this picture. And we're gonna raise the shadows a little bit. We're gonna drop our whites, make that cup a little less intense and we're gonna raise our blacks. To lighten up the shadows. Then we're gonna go into our curves and then actually instead of using this curve we're actually gonna make an S curve for each color so we're gonna raise the highlights and lower the shadows. We're gonna do that on each color but then for blue we're going to do it a little bit less. very minorly on the blue. And that's gonna bring out the colors that we want. Then we're gonna go to color here, and we're going to give it a slight cool temperature, and already that makes a big difference. Much more moodier now. We're gonna lower our vibrance a lot. We're gonna get some of it back, particularly the coffee, but we don't want color really anywhere else. And then we're going to slightly increase our saturation as you can see, we're already getting that coffee art, that orange is remaining, but we're going to go into our color mix to get the rest of it. So click on color mix, and we're going to go into our oranges and boost the saturation of those, just by a little bit. And then we're gonna go into our yellows, experiment with that. That'll bring out some of the more highlights of the coffee art, boost that saturation a little bit. And then we can take a look at our blues and see See if we get much out of that. We get a little bit in the bottom left corner, a little bit in the foreground here. I don't think we want to go too overboard, but just get a few blues in there. And then we're going to take all of our other colors and lower the saturation to nothing. Make sure we have none of those colors in there. And then say done. So here's where we're at so far. We started at this nice warm image and now we've gotten it a lot cooler but the focus is very much on the coffee cup, whereas this, it's still on the coffee cup, of course, but a little less so. Next, we're gonna go into some additional settings and boost the clarity. And then add a slight vignette, which helps pull the focus into the main subject. Another thing that we can do is create a mask around the coffee art and increase the clarity around it in particular. So if we go up to this and draw a mask, a selective edit, you can add one, make a circular one, and then we're gonna create one right here. And we're just gonna drag these until it pretty much just encapsulates the coffee art. And then we're going to go to clarity and increase that. Let's try to zoom in. So if we go all the way down, we can see it kind of muddles it, but if we increase that, it really brings out the detail. But that also made it pretty dark, so we're going to increase the exposure on that a little bit, and increase the highlights, and that should be good. So now that really stands out, and it's pretty much the only source of color except for a few blues, but we took most of the orange and brown colors out of the tabletop, which really helps show 
the coffee, where in this case, the coffee is kind of the same color as the table. Now it really stands out, that is obviously the focus. And there's our first cafe photo. Now obviously this is a very particular type of photo, so let's go try another one. Let's take this one. This is a little bit different. It's very brightly lit. It's a, a more wide shot. It's not a close-up. We see a few people in the foreground and background here. Table. So let's start going through the process. So we're going to drop the highlights all the way, which is going to help pull out some of that detail from the back. Kind of raise the shadows, get some light out of those. And then we're going to drop the whites and raise the blacks a bit. Go into our curves, do the same thing we did before, create those S curves of the colors, bring out the ones we want. Nice, looking good already. Get a lot more color out of that, a lot more brightness. Now we're gonna go in here, we're going to lower the temperature. Make it nice and blue, just a little bit, and then bring down the vibrance, bring up the saturation, and then go into our color mix. And then again, we're going to boost the saturation of the oranges. In this case, it's not as important because we're not editing the coffee, but there's still plenty of orange elements here that I think would be good to bring out. Boost the yellow saturation a little bit, and then go to our blues. We don't get too much out of boosting those, so I'm just going to leave it as is. And then we're going to reduce all the other colors. And there we go. So this is what we have so far. We've reduced a lot of the, uh, lot of the other colors. This was the original, very blown out. And this one is a little more subdued. The focus is a little bit of everywhere. And then we're gonna go ahead and add some clarity to give it some more texture on our subject. And we're going to add a vignette to help bring it in. Now, if we want to add some additional mood to this, we can go into split toning and we can change the highlights and the shadows have a slight dark blue tint to them. In that case, we get this nice cool looking photo, which is very opposite of the original, of course. We can also give ourselves some warmer highlights and some cooler shadows, which creates a nice contrast. And you know, I think that looks even better. Let's take a look at a third one and quickly edit through this one. This one's completely different. It's poorly lit by comparison. Still a fine photo though. We're going to bump up the exposure a bit on this one and increase the contrast. Then we're gonna do what we did before where we drop the highlights, increase the shadows, lower the whites, increase the blacks. And then we're gonna go into our curves. Make those S curves super quick. Don't have to be too precise here. Now we're going to go into our color temperature, lower that down, turn our vibrance way down, turn our saturation up. In this case, there are some nice warm tones, so we're going to bring out those warm tones as much as possible, reduce everything else. That yellow is kind of nice, we're going to leave that, get rid of everything else. I'm going to mostly get rid of the blues, but keep a few of them and finish lowering the rest. And then we'll bring in our vignette. Feather that, make it less harsh. Then I think in this case, the subject is obviously the coffee sign. So we're going to go in and create a mask around that. So we're gonna make a mask. That should be perfect, right around the coffee sign. And then we will go ahead and boost the 
exposure on that to make it kind of light up. But we don't want... Yeah, there we go. We don't want the sign to be too grainy. And then we'll go ahead and... Let's lower the clarity. That'll make it more of a glow. And then we should be good to go. So now that coffee sign lights up just a little bit more. So I hope you all enjoyed these cafe photo edits. Let us know in the comments what you think, if you edit your cafe photos differently, or if you learned anything from this video. And we'll see you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And if you're looking for professional LUTs, Lightroom desktop and mobile presets, Premiere Pro templates, and more photo and video education, visit filtergrade.com today.